Okay, now we're rolling. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. And the gophers and the cyclones all play. Welcome, fanatics. We're at the lovely Wild Horse Resort in beautiful Tempe, Arizona. I'm Chris Williams. I'm joined by a special guest. He's a face that you're familiar with, Eric Murphy of ABC5. We're getting ready to go to the pep rally tonight. You can see the mountains in the background. We are literally out in the middle of nowhere here. This is the team hotel where your Iowa State University Cyclones are playing. You can see a nice little pond, sunset in the background. We'll get a little turn shot here. You see, look at this massive hotel. It is just massive. We've got a pool. It's actually chilly here. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Eric is wearing a t-shirt. He's, he's roughing it Chris, out. Chris, uh, this is actually on an Indian reservation. And the, the New York Giants actually stayed at this hotel when they uh, won the Super Bowl. And, and you have confirmed that the room that you and Voice of the Cyclones, John Walters, are staying in. Plexico Burris. Yeah. So, wow. So Plexico Burris yeah. showered in that shower. Yeah, Maybe I, slept I, in that I, bed. Yeah, I found a casing <laughs> underneath the, the, one of my beds. So Unbelievable. Confirmed it was him. Unbelievable. Yeah. But, you know, this is the, this is just proof that when, when cyclones head south in the winter, you know, it's like 60 out, maybe. It's actually probably a little chillier. And you can see in the distance there a bunch of cyclones with their shirts off, yep, and they are in the pool. And it has to be absolutely freezing. But look at this gorgeous view. Eric Murphy, you are actually from Minnesota, is that correct? I, I'm actually from the, the great state of Minnesota. Yeah, you watch love, your tongue right now. I, I love the state of Minnesota, but I did not grow up a gopher fan. And I'm not saying this just because I'm a cyclone fanatic. Now, you you told me an interesting story earlier today where you have been a part of gopher taunting in the past. Yeah, with mainly with hockey because nobody cares about the gopher football team. Uh, I went to St. Cloud State University, and when we scored a goal against the Gophers, we would throw dead Gophers on the, I don't know if in the Michael Vick era, if that's right to say, on video, but yeah, we, well, we used to throw dead Gophers on the ice. It was a different time back it then. It was a different, it was a difference, and the 1990s were very different than the uh, 2009s or 2010s. Where did you get the dead Gophers at? If you go to Minnesota, there's literally Gophers everywhere, it's true. So that's Hence why the name. Hence the name, the Gophers. Yeah. So, there would be guys that would go out and just shoot gophers and store wow. them in their freezer, and then they would either give them to you or you could actually buy them, and you literally had to stuff them in your underwear to get through the security because they knew people wanted to do it. What does a dead gopher run for? Uh, you could get a bag for like 20 bucks. Wow. It was probably like four or five gophers. All right. Yeah. And well, it, yeah, I mean, you just shoot them and put them in your freezer, and they're ready to go. I, d I doubt there's going to be any dead gophers at the Insight Bowl tomorrow. Uh, maybe the Cyclone fans can throw a couple out there. Well, you're giving some people some bad ideas right now. We don't condone this anymore, because as we mentioned, this is a different time. But it's going to be an interesting... I was interested, Eric, in the press conference today. There was a lot less coach speak and fluff, is what I like to call it, than I anticipated. It seemed like they're actually really focused on football. And I'm not just talking Iowa State, I'm talking Minnesota as well. I think it's going to be a hard-hitting ball game tomorrow. Kind of seems that way, but you have to remember we're also closer to kickoff. The teams are starting to get a little bit more focused. Yeah. Um, it has been a fun week. Cyclone practices have been fun all week. Uh, Coach Rhodes has done a good job of keeping it loose. But, uh, yeah, two teams, Midwest teams, like Paul Rhodes said yesterday, hard hitting. Uh, he called them middle of the road teams, two six and six, very yep. similar ball clubs. And, and uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good ball game from what – broken down so far looking forward to it looking forward to a lot more coming Show up some of these fish yeah look at these massive massive fish down below us I didn't know that they grew fish like this in Arizona I thought it was all mountains and cacti in this great portion of our country I believe that's actually the uh, rare Arizona piranha <laughs> Really? Yeah, raised actually in, in certain parts of Arizona. That's it, it, obviously one of them. Only on this reservation. Yeah, probably. So, no, again. So don't fall in. Don't fall in because the rare Arizona. Well, look at that. They will bite. That's, that's like a sperm whale. That's how big those things are. <laughs> Massive. Eric, thanks for joining me on this video blog. Yeah, it, thanks for having me, man. It's uh, been fun here so far and hopefully we can cap it off with a big victory uh, tomorrow over at Tempe uh, Sun Devil Stadium. That's what we're looking forward yeah. to. Eric Murphy, 
of ABC5 joining me on this video blog. Wish you all were here with us at CycloneFanatic.com.